Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna be talking about ah, I forgot. Oh yeah, cuss words and the science that goes along with them. But first off, why did I just bleep that out? I'm sure you know what I just said, so what's the point if it still carries the same meaning? Well, maybe it's because there's a possibility that I didn't say Maybe I said pit or mitt, which is actually what I really did. Either way, many parents say that they want to shield their kids from cuss words on TV by them out. However, two thirds of parents who cuss say that it's not okay for their kids to cuss. Now that's pretty hypocritical. PG-13 movies are allowed to have one F-bomb. Go f yourselves. This means that it's socially acceptable for a 13-year-old like my love to consume profanity, but yet, for most people, it's not okay for me to swear. Now, this is kind of weird. Also, censoring as we know it really only used in English and Japanese. The attitude, acceptability, and use of swear words are different everywhere you go. In English, there are a lot of words that people can consider cuss words. We can look at George Carlin's Seven Dirty Words for a guide. There's a link in the description as I don't really want to say them. Those words are not allowed to be said on public TV from the hours of 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. But why is that? Well, in a court case, it was determined that the FCC could regulate, but not ban profanity on public TV. This means that to shield kids from it, they will only air profanity from the hours of 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. when most kids are probably sound asleep. But all this is doing is really just prolonging the time until a kid will experience profanity. And if a kid hears a word that they're not allowed to say, what are they gonna do? Say it over and over again. What's pretty interesting is out of George Carlin's seven dirty words, they all have one syllable or one syllable as the root word. Now, why is this? Well, maybe people speculate that it's because it's easy to say in a point of anger or frustration to just let out a string of rapid profanity. Or maybe it's to distinguish acceptable words from not acceptable words. Feces is okay to say and it's two syllables. However, is not okay to say and it's one syllable, but they both mean Poop. Almost all swear words originate from gross, nasty, disgusting things. But once that word itself has become detached from its meaning, that's when I think it has become a swear word. The word itself has become gross, nasty, and bad. So if I were to call someone a b I'm not saying that they're a donkey. So maybe the reasons why we don't bleep out words like forsake, but, feces, and war, and poverty, and all those nasty things is because we still need words with attached meanings. But, as some would argue, we also need swear words with attached meanings, as they can sometimes be beneficial. Scientists have proved that swearing is actually more linked to emotions than words in our regular language. Same area of the brain where cuss words come from are also the same area where the first words spoken by our ancestors were. As psychologist Steven Pinker, who studied this, would put it, it's actually beneficial to swear after getting hurt as it can alleviate some of the pain. In conclusion, I feel like cussing has all to do with context. For me, cussing at somebody is extremely rude, mean, and offensive. But if I were to stub my toe and cuss out the table, I don't think that has that same degree of severity. Now, I'm not going to say that cussing is good or bad, but what I will say is cuss words have the power to change the whole meaning of a sentence. It can convey urgency, extremeness, or even social acceptance, and that can definitely be useful. But with 80 to 90 swear words spoken a day by adults, it's definitely here to stay. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, you can check out my website and Twitter up there. Thanks.